Hello and welcome back to Mr. Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about Summer Inn. Now Summer Inn is a very interesting film that explores in a very subtle way ideas of youth and growing up in a young group of friends. Um, it marries, as I realised as I was watching it, it marries quite heavily with the, the, um, the film that came out quite a while ago, I think it was 2014 when it released and I think it was called Earth to Echo. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but Earth to Echo, and it was that one too was also about a group of kids growing up and sort of almost like their last summer together, and being faced with this um, twisted um, problem to deal with. Over, over in, only in that sense, it was more of a sci-fi kind of genre flick, where they were faced with some kind of um, fantastical adventure to fo uh, to. Um, it, to give them an outlet to say goodbye to each other um and this kind of felt like that s similar way where it was it was it was kind of like a journey where the girls became closer and it was a it was a nice outlet for them to say goodbye to each other and learn what it's like to live in the adult world um my enormous flaw with this film however even though despite how much i thought it was going to be a massive awards play going in i thought it was going to be a very sophisticated time. Turns out it was actually quite sloppy in this particular element. And that's in its moral... It, it's very... Very morally questionable execution. I am not sure how to think about... A dead body... A dead body... Being... I'm not sure if this is in the trailer, I don't know if this is a spoiler... But the girls basically essentially come across this dead body. And they are trying to... Their mystery, their little game, instead of it being a robot from outer space, their little game is to try and find out this guy's life and where he came from. They essentially play a detective without law enforcement on a dead body and not tell any of their parents that they found a dead body and making it their little secret. I don't know what the film was trying to say. Is this is this mor is this a moral question that really needs that much of a complicated answer? I don't think it does. The message should clearly have been you should have told us. You should have told your parents that you found something like that. But no, the film decides to completely brush over that fact and present us with a situation where no, the girls keep it as their cool little secret, as if a dead body is some kind of novelty. Now, I don't know how to exactly feel about that. No, I actually do know how to feel about that. It's actually quite shocking when I peel back the layers of this particular onion. And, um... Yeah, this, it, it's, it's, it's actually quite a morally questionable film. When I really peel back the layers, but it, I have to say, over the performances involved, which are very strong, it is a charming time. So if you can look past that, then you're in for a decent watch. I feel, but yeah, that that's your call to make. So that is my review of Summerin. Well, a brief one anyway. And next time, I will see you for India sweets and spices. See you all next time. Goodbye.